NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter has captured an extraordinary image of China's Chang'e 6 spacecraft on the far side of the moon. Taken on June 7, 2024, this image reveals the spacecraft perched on the rim of an eroded crater in the Apollo Basin. This isn't just a photo, it's a groundbreaking moment in space exploration, highlighting international collaboration and technological prowess. Why does this matter? Because it offers fresh insights into the moon's geological history and paves the way for future missions. Stay tuned as we delve into the significance of this discovery and what it means for the future of lunar exploration. This is a moment you don't want to miss. This video promises to enlighten you on one of the most exciting developments in space exploration today. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter LRO has been orbiting the Moon since its launch in June 2009, delivering high-resolution data and images that have significantly enhanced our understanding of the lunar surface. Managed by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, LRO's primary mission is to map the Moon's surface in detail, identify potential landing sites for future missions, and locate resources such as water ice in permanently shadowed craters. Over its mission, LRO's seven scientific instruments have captured extensive data about the Moon's topography, composition, and environment. A significant contribution of LRO is the creation of a comprehensive 3D map of the lunar surface, essential for planning missions like NASA's Artemis program aimed at returning humans to the Moon. This detailed mapping has pinpointed numerous potential landing sites in areas of scientific interest. Additionally, LRO's instruments have detected areas with water ice, a crucial resource for future manned missions. LRO continues to play a vital role in lunar exploration, serving both NASA and international space agencies. Recently, LRO captured images of China's Chinese 6 spacecraft on the far side of the moon, highlighting LRO's ongoing importance. On June 7, 2024, LRO passed over the Chang'e 6 landing site and acquired images showing the spacecraft on the rim of a 55-yard diameter crater. This site, located near the southern edge of the Apollo Basin, is rich in geological features that offer insights into the Moon's volcanic and tectonic history. These images help scientists analyze the landing site in greater detail, contributing to our understanding of lunar geology and the processes that have shaped the Moon's surface over billions of years. Chang'e 6 landed at approximately 42 degrees south latitude and 206 degrees east longitude at an elevation of about minus 5,256 meters. This location is near the southern edge of the Apollo Basin, a prominent impact crater approximately 306 miles 492 kilometers in diameter. The site is of particular interest due to its unique geological features and its position within a region that has experienced significant volcanic and tectonic activity. The Apollo Basin and surrounding areas are characterized by basaltic lava flows that erupted around 3.1 billion years ago. These flows have created wrinkle ridges long, narrow ridges formed by the compression of the lunar crust. The landing site of Chang'e 6 is strategically positioned between two prominent wrinkle ridges, making it an ideal location to study these geological formations. Additionally, the basaltic flow near the landing site overlaps an older flow, estimated to be about 3.3 billion years old. The younger flow is distinguishable by its higher concentrations of iron oxide and titanium dioxide, providing a contrast that helps scientists study the chronological sequence of volcanic events on the Moon. These differences in chemical composition offer insights into the volcanic history of the Moon and the processes that have shaped its surface. The scientific importance of studying this region cannot be overstated. Analyzing the geological features and samples collected from this site will help scientists gain a deeper understanding of the Moon's volcanic and tectonic history. This knowledge can help scientists develop models of lunar evolution and better understand the history of our solar system. Moreover, studying the samples returned by Chang'e 6 will address fundamental questions about the differences between the near and far sides of the Moon, providing clues about the Moon's internal structure and its thermal evolution over billions of years.
The successful imaging of Chang E6 by NASA's LRO highlights the importance of international collaboration in space exploration. Despite the competitive nature of space missions, the exchange of data and resources between nations can lead to greater scientific discoveries. This collaboration validates the achievements of individual missions and contributes to a collective understanding of lunar science. By sharing data and resources, space agencies can overcome the challenges associated with lunar exploration and make significant advancements in our understanding of the Moon. The success of Chang E6 sets a precedent for future lunar missions. It demonstrates the feasibility of conducting sample return missions from the Moon's far side, a region that has been relatively unexplored. Upcoming missions, such as China's Chang E7 and Chang E8, aim to further explore the lunar south pole and test in situ resource utilization techniques. These missions are crucial for paving the way for a sustainable human presence on the moon. Chang'e 7, scheduled for launch in 2026, will focus on locating and studying water ice deposits at the lunar south pole. Chang'e 8, set to launch in 2028, will test technologies for utilizing these resources, such as extracting water from lunar soil to support human missions. These advancements are critical for establishing a permanent human presence on the Moon and could potentially support future missions to Mars and beyond. The samples returned by Chang'e 6 will undergo rigorous scientific analysis, providing new insights into the Moon's history and evolution. These studies will help address questions about the differences between the near and far sides of the Moon, including the scarcity of volcanic plains on the far side. By comparing the new samples with those collected by previous missions, scientists can develop a more comprehensive understanding of the Moon's geological history and its internal processes. Additionally, the data gathered from Chang E6 will inform future missions and help scientists develop new technologies for lunar exploration. Understanding the Moon's geology and resource distribution is essential for planning long-term human missions and establishing a sustainable presence on the lunar surface. This knowledge will also contribute to our broader understanding of planetary formation and the history of our solar system. In this video, we have learned about NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter capturing images of China's Chang'e 6 spacecraft on the far side of the moon. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.